it's Nancy from Nancy. <laughs> I just goose the mannequin. <laughs> ah! Hi, it's Nancy with Nancy's Fancy Scarves. Just here to give you a quick tutorial on different ways on how to wear, wear a sarong. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Hi, it's Nancy from Nancy's Fancy Scarves. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on sarongs and ginormous scarves, how to wear them. Not only are they wonderful over your shoulders, but you can take them and wrap your hips. So let's say you're feeling a little skinny on the bottom. Take it any old way and just, I, I don't usually tie the corners together. I pinch it somewhere in the middle, just cause I like a little fluidy. Fluidy, is that a word? Fluidity. Okay, that works too. And then just tie, well, don't tie it like that. You want to kind of loosely tie it around your waist and just kind of pinch it in the middle. And what that'll do is it'll give you curves. The good kind, anyway. Not like the mushroom top curves. <laughs> Boo to mushroom tops! So, you know, it just gives you a nice little flow. Um, this, this sarong is actually 58 inches by 58 inches. So it's pretty big. So you can wear it around your waist. If you're not heavily endowed upstairs, like you can take it and just flip it around up top. Okay, you have to be smaller to work this one. Because this little mannequin is about a size of zero for tiny, super tiny. If you're that small, God bless you. I'm not. Um, so I would need the big girl voluptuous size scarves, which would be something like these. The voluptuous size scarves are um, 85 inches wide, so you could actually flip it around, tie it, and do all kinds of fun stuff. Let me know. I've got some for you, or I'll custom make it for you, because I want you to be covered. <laughs> All right, once again, thank you so much for clicking in and don't forget hashtag light flowing. <laughs> God bless you. Take care. Mm -hmm.